what's up Aquarius? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the second half of June. That's June 15th through till the 30th. This is for my Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of June. Any love messages for my Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of June. What can you tell my Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of June. Death card, seven of cups, queen of rods, six of cups, king of rods, ace of cups. New beginnings in love for you, Aquarius, okay? Either you have a person from the past coming in or you have some sort of a soul connection. The six of cups is very much that person that feels very familiar to you. They feel like home. It's also a card about reconciliation. What I'm seeing is a person that wants to come in and have like a fresh start and a new beginning with you because the death card to me means this could be someone that you've ended things with. It's either that or a connection is going through some kind of a transformation. I can see that there's a bit of confusion with respect to this person, a bit of cloudiness, but this is like an end to cloudiness, an end to confusion. So this is like someone that wants to come in, reconcile things with you and recreate the love. Um, even if you are in an existing current connection, it's like a fresh start for you guys. With the Queen of Rods and the King of Rods, we have a pair. So there's a lot of passion between you and this person. Tell me about the death card. Tell me about the death card, page of rods, exactly. It's like something's either, um, this is either someone that you ended with, ended, ended things with guys, sorry, Mercury is still in retrograde and it's difficult sometimes to get the words out. This is someone that you either ended things with or you're in a connection where things are transforming and there's new perspectives and new beginnings, okay, with that page of rods. But there's definitely a sense of reconciliation here. Whatever was causing confusion, this is like, a fresh perspective as I said okay king and queen of rods this is a match you could work with this person um, because king and queen of rods they're definitely a working pair or otherwise it's just your counterpart someone that you match with on a passion level and now I've got queen of swords so this is you showing up in your read in a feminine energy so this is also about honest communication okay so if there was confusion between you two this is about speaking your truth and being honest to clarify things and the king of cups because someone has a lot of love for you okay so they could also be coming in because they want to communicate that to you as i said that the eight of wands so there's a lot of communication and movement between you and this person in the second half of june oh my throat just um went funny guys this is the throat chakra so there's definitely things that need to be communicated between you and this person and truths that need to be spoken with the eight of wands communication coming in because things have been a little confusing and cloudy and maybe you feel like you've been kept in the dark about things um, or there's just a sense of things that are just not clear, right? With that seven of cups and the moon card. Um, but I do feel like there's a sense of moving ahead, moving forward, coming out of that confusion, ending that confusion and moving um, forward into clarity and a new love, okay? With the king of cups, you could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine, um, otherwise there's just like a real emotional tie with this person, okay? They have a lot of love for you. You could be dealing with someone at a distance or travel could be a factor. That's just for some of you. King and Queen of Wands, one more about this pair. Two of Swords, okay? So you are a pair with this person, but there has been a little stuckness. The blindfold's been on. There's a lot here about confusion and lack of clarity. Maybe it's about what direction this is headed in, or maybe this connection has just been stuck. It hasn't been moving. But like I said, the Eight of Wands means there's going to be movement. With the Star card here, this is about wishes fulfilled. It's also a card about renewal. So if things have felt like they were dead or dying, this is about a renewal. And this is also about hope for the connection, okay, and wishes. So um, we've also got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is another card. It's a new beginning. That's not just about a new beginning in love, but a new beginning in commitment. Um, we've got Scorpio Energy with the Death card, guys. And then we've got... Aries Leo Sag with the King and Queen of Rods and a lot of cups. So as I said, water sign energy. Um, what else do we need to know, please, Spirit? 
What else do we need to know for Aquarius? King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Okay, someone wants to come in. They want to they wanna show you that they're very loyal and committed. Okay, for others of you, um, there could be a couple of options here with the Seven of Cups. Maybe you do have a couple of people around you or a couple of cups around you or you're dealing with someone in that energy. There's outside um, energies that could be interfering with the connection. The Five of Wands can be conflict and competition. But I do feel like there is someone coming at you that wants to be very loving and someone that's very committed and loyal to you. Okay, the High Priestess though and the Four of Pentacles means that there is an element of secrecy here. You could feel like this person withholds from you or doesn't give you all the information. That's why we have that Moon card. It's like maybe you feel like you've been kept in the dark about things. It's like they hold on to you but they hold back a bit or maybe you're withholding some stuff Aquarius okay I'm gonna get cards on them specifically but the Sun card and the two of cups two cards about new beginnings um, in a relationship okay so the Sun card is about a new beginning and the two of cups this is about you two coming together in some kind of a union all right with the Sun card this is also about clarity so you're going from the moon to the sun. You're coming out of the dark for some kind of a new beginning with this person. Leo energy with the sun, guys. Let me get some cards on this person and their feelings and intentions towards you. Feelings and intentions towards Aquarius, please, spirit. How does this person feel and what are their intentions towards Aquarius? Okay, eight of wands, guys. They're going to communicate with you. Quickly, King of Cups, double King of Cups energy. They have a lot of love for you. Ace of Wands, they want to reignite the passion. There you go, guys. The Star card, okay, so we've got double star energy. You're still very much their hope and their wish. They want to they want to renewal in the connection. They want to reignite passion. Hanged Man, they know things are being stuck. They're probably sensing that you've got one foot in, one foot out, or there's been interfering factors that are keeping the connection stuck. Tell me a bit more about this King of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Ah, Five of Cups. There's some kind of sadness and regrets, okay? Either this person has some regrets with regards to what's happened in the connection with you, or this person has, has past stuff, or you have past stuff, but there's a sense of wanting to come in and show you love and let go of the past and let go of the regrets and the spilt cups, because Five of Cups just flipped out in the reverse, guys. Um, what do they want to communicate to Aquarius with that Eight of Wands? They want to give you a loving offer, Knight of Cups. They want to give you romance. They want to offer you a cup of love. And another page of cups, another cups card, guys, a page of cups. So definitely a loving offer. A um, lot of cups. So strong, strong water sign energy, guys. The judgment card. This is a comeback around. So if you guys have um, ended things with this person or things have just been um, feeling like they're crumbling or ending, this is a comeback around. And it's also a decision. Okay, because the two of swords for me means things have been a little stuck. Maybe a decision needs to be made to like move forward um, to end the conflict, for example. And the judgment card, this is the decision being made. So they, they maybe want a decision from you on how this is moving ahead. Um, but yeah, anything that's happened in the past, it's like this person wants to repair things and they want to move forward with you two of swords, as I said that, because definitely feeling the stuckness of the connection. Okay, um, let's get you guys a romance angel. Romance angel, please, for Aquarius, for this connection. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so stay optimistic if this is a connection that you want. The star card did come out twice, and this is about hope, so don't lose hope. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Maybe you've been a bit closed off, Aquarius, or maybe this person's a bit closed off because there's some pain um, or outside energies like from the past even that have kind of created, um, you know, have made it difficult for this person to feel safe or for you to feel safe. But Spirit is saying you can, you, you should, sorry guys, again, something with my words. Spirit is saying open your heart up, okay, because it is safe for you to love. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, yeah, because this person wants to work on things with you and reignite the passion and let everything go from the past, okay, on their side and with whatever's gone on with you because healing family issues. So there's definitely some stuff that's been um, blocking the connection. Either that's because, you, you know, there's traumas connected to family, maybe some fears around love. Um, maybe for some of you, this is just some of you, this person has a family or a previous spouse or you do. Um, but otherwise, this is really about healing some deeper issues that have been interfering and it is safe to love, okay? And they wanna work on things with you. 
Okay, Aquarius, I hope that that was helpful. And um, if so, you can give me a like and a comment and I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.